Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, next one is expected return. Expected return. Expected return simply means forecasted return. How much return we expect from the security or from the investment in the future. Or we can say how we can estimate our profit or return in the future. If you invest in the A company, B company, C company, or D company, how can you expect that? How much will be your profit in the future? Or how can you estimate that or forecast that? How much will be how much will be your profitability for this project if the following conditions happen? Right? So how can you expect it? A simple definition, first of all, is given for this one. Then we will go for the examples in order to calculate the expected return. But for the time being, first of all, you have to remember expected return means estimated return or expected or forecasted return that you expect in the future. Expected return of an investment is the weighted average of all possible returns multiplied by their respective probability. Expected return of the investment is equal to the total of all returns multiplied to their probabilities. If you multiply all returns into their probabilities and to take the sum up of all this, so you can find out the expected return. For this time being, so it is a little bit confusing. What do you mean by this one? What do you mean by return? How can I multiply it to their respective probabilities and how can I sum up all of this so for the time being just accept this definition let me go for the formula and then we'll take a simple example in order to to explain the definition itself mathematically you can define the expected return in this way r bar r bar or in some books you can show it with the x bar x bar is equal to <coughs> sum of I start from 1 up to n. Multiply. Sum of what? Sum of R into P. What is R? Sometimes we can show it with the X as well. A, R or X is the return of the security. This is basically the return of the security. Which is start from 1. For example, there might be several security. I start from 1 to n. For example, there is a chance of return of 10%. Chance of return of 10 15 percentage. There might be chance of return of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. Each one is called I. I start from 1 up to N. 1 percentage return, 2 percentage return, 10 percentage return, and so on. And P is the probability, right? How much is the probability for each return? If you multiply the return of each security into their probabilities and find out the total of all, this can be called as what? As R bar or expected return, right? Let me give you a simple example. You have invested in a project and you ask your finance manager in order to tell you that how much return you will have in the future from this project. Your finance manager may not provide a straightforward answer. Why? Because it is difficult to say, for example, your return is 10%, your return is 15% or so on. Your finance manager may tell you that it depends on the conditions. It depends on what? It depends on the conditions. It depends on what? Conditions, right? How many conditions there might be? For example, there might be different conditions. Condition might be, for example, the finance manager may tell you like this. If there is a... Uh, if there is a, for example, a boom condition, but first of all, let me make a few columns here, then I need later on, right? Your finance manager may tell you that if there is a boom condition, boom means, for example, peak, for example. If there is a boom condition, your return might be different. If there is a, for example, growth condition in the economic in the future, your return might be different. If there is a, for example, we can say decline in the return in the future, your return might be different. If there is a, for example, recession in the economy, your return might be different, right? So your finance manager may not provide you a straightforward boom, right? It is not book, it is boom. Yes. If there is a boom condition, you may have different return. If there is a growth again in the economy, 
there your return might be different. If there is a decline in the economic operation or in the business operation itself or in the project operation, your return might be different. And if there is a recession, your return might be different. Then you may tell him that how much will be my return? He will say like this. So the second column, he will find out the expected return, right? Expected return. He will tell you like this. If there is a boom condition, if there is what condition? Boom condition. Let me take it in the center. Okay. Okay. Center. He may tell you like this. If there is a boom in the economy, you will have 40% return in your project. How many percentage? 40%. If there is, for example, second condition, he may tell you like this. If there is a growth in the economy, your return will be only 30%. But if there is a decline, your return will be only 20%. If there is a recession, your return will be only, for example, 10%. How many reset? Different return, right? If there is a boom, 40% return we'll have. If there is a growth, there is a 30. If there is a decline, there is a 20. If there is a recession, your return is only 10%. Then you may ask from the finance manager, what is the possibility to have growth? How we can know there is a growth in the future? How we can know there is a boom in the future? What is the possibility of decline in the future? As well as what is the possibility of and possibility of recession? So the next column he will tell for the probabilities, right? Probabilities. He may tell you like this: there is a chance for boom. There is a, for example, we can say forty percentage. There is a 40% chance to have boom in the future, right? So then he will ask, he will ask, what is the possibility of growth? He will say, for example, there is a, for example, 20, not 20, 35 percentage possibility of growth in the future, right? Then you will ask, what is the possibility of decline? He will say, for example, there is a possibility of decline there is a 15 percentage possibility of decline. And as well as, for example, there is a 10 percentage possibility of what? Recession in the future, right? He will not provide a straightforward answer. He may say, for example, there might be boom in the future. If we have boom or peak, or we can say maturity, on that case, my return will be 40 percentage. But what is the possibility to have boom in the future? The possibility to have boom in the future is 40 percentage. From where he get 40 percentage? He just guess it. He just expect it for himself. So even if you ask from two finance managers, they may not provide the same probability. Although there are some tools and techniques to find out the probabilities. But of course, so again, it depends on the expectation. Why? Because it depends on the future. No one can provide the exact answer. Even you can go ask from the good economists or finance, financial analysts, so they may not provide the exact answer. Why? Because expectation or probability, everything depends on the future. So when future is answered, then no one can expect it, except Allah or God. The possibility for growth is, ter the possibility for growth is 35, but if we have growth, I will have 30% profit. The possibility for decline is 20%, 15%. It means 15% it is possible to have decline in the future. If you have declined, then my return is 10. And of course, 10% it is possible to have recession. If we have recession, then we have a growth of 10%. If the finance manager tell you in this way, then definitely you're confused. Then you will tell him that, please tell me that. How much is my return? You totally confused me, right? If this is the possibility, this is the return. If this is the possibility, this is the return. This is the possibility, this is the return. Then the finance manager in this case, may use from expected return formula. From what formula? Expected return formula. What is expected return formula? R into what? Into R into P. He may, in this case, the word finance manager may use from the expected return formula in order to tell you that how much is the expected return, your expected return from the project. Expected return simply also can be called as average return or means of the return. Then in this case, you can find out the means of return from, from the project for your owner or we can say for your boss to tell him that overall on average basis, 
how much is his profitability from the project how we can find out then you can do this too r into p r into p r1 into p r2 or so this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 this is r4 depends how many r you have if you have thousand r then you can multiply it so that is why we have taken the summation if you multiply this to 14 1400 sorry 400 4 40 into 40 becomes 16 100 right on the other case if you multiply this two right 30 into 35 you get 1050 if i'm not wrong if you multiply this one 20 into 15 you get 300 right then if you multiply this to 10 into 10 you get equal to how much 100 then you have to find out the sum up of this one 1600 plus this one you get 1000 then 2650 2009 2950 if you find out the total of this one you get 2000 uh no no i think i think it is more than that no it is fine 2600 so the 1600 16 become 19 19 become 2000 3050 right it became 30 50 right it became 30 50. so this 30 50 is called expected return this is called what expected return. what or also we can call it r bar right so r bar we can show like this right this is r bar r bar is equal to how much or you can mention the expected return x x expected return so my expected return from the project or r bar is equal to how much 33 and so on see the point now what do you mean by 33 and so on 33 is not the answer how you can find that the r bar r bar is equal to whatever is the result so for example how much 30 50 right this 30 50 should be divided by 100 if you multiply divide by 100 now you get some answer so provide the percentage rate for this one if you provide the percentage rate for this one you get 30.5 30.5 is the average return that we can expect from the project so then you can say to the owner of the business to the owner of the business that your expected return from the project is equal to 13 30.5 percentage let me bullet this one now it is fine okay so the boss if the boss asks how much is the average return then you can say 30.5 how we found it each expected return multiplied to their probabilities each expected return multiplied to their probabilities and finally the result should be divided by 100 when we divide it by 100 if both of them are in the form of percentage if this one is in the form of percentage and this one is also in the form of percentage so finally the overall result should be divided by 100 but on the other side if one of this column is in the percentage and the second one is in the decimal so finally there is no need for dividing by 100 but on the other side if this one is also in decimal but this one is also in decimal so finally you have to multiply the result into 100 in order to convert it into percentage right so this is called what this is called expected return so what is expected return now you can define expected return of the investment is the weighted average of all possible returns oh the weighted average of all possible returns multiplied to their probabilities and finally you have to take the average of all did we get the average yes so the total of all divided by 100 you get 30.5 so 30.5 is the average return that we can expect from our project so this is called expected